What if I told you the Galaxy S26 might not just be another phone upgrade, but a turning point in Samsung's entire tech legacy? No, seriously, we're not just talking sleeker designs or better cameras. This time, Samsung might be making the heart of the phone, the chip, by itself. And if they pull it off, it could flip the script on Apple, Qualcomm, and even TSMC. Welcome back, viewers. Stam here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more juicy tech scoops. You'll want to stick around for this one. So here's the spicy part, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, the beast that's expected to power the Galaxy S26, is rumored to be made not by TSMC, but by Samsung's own foundry. Yep, after nearly three years of sitting on the bench, Samsung might be back in the game, and they're aiming for the big leagues with their shiny new 2 in process. You heard that right, minus 2 in Amir's. That's smaller than the dust on your screen. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Qualcomm's planning two versions of this chip. One made by TSMC on a fancy 3M processed, and the other, specifically tuned for Galaxy devices, made by Samsung Foundry itself. That's like ordering two versions of the same supercar, each built by different pit crews. Which one wins? That's the billion dollar question. Let's rewind real quick. The last time Qualcomm trusted Samsung Foundry was with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And let's just say it got a little too hot to handle. Literally, overheating, fringing, throttling, you name it. Qualcomm bailed, jumped ship to TSMC, and never looked back. Until now. So what changed? Well, Samsung's been hard at work behind the scenes, investing big in its chip-making tech, expanding production, and opening its ultra-advanced Hizong S3 fab. They've even been making Qualcomm's XR2 Plus Gen 2 chip on their forum node, set to power Samsung's upcoming XR headset. Baby steps, right? But this new 2 and Snapdragon could be the real comeback play. Production testing is already underway and mass production is scheduled for early 2026. If Samsung nails the yield, that is, how many chips come out flawless? They're not just getting a win, they're rewriting the rulebook. Now here's where the plot thickens. What does this mean for the Galaxy S26 series? Everything. Because if the S26, S26 Plus, and S26 Ultra launch with these Samsung-made Snapdragon chips, they'll be the first real-world proof that Samsung can do it all, design, build, and optimize in-house. Apple style, that's massive. But it also means Samsung can't afford to screw this up. Rushing the S26 just to one of Apple's iPhone 17 could be a disaster. We've seen Samsung play that game before. Remember the Note 7? Yeah, let's not. Instead, they're reportedly sticking with a January or February 2026 launch window. Not flashy, but smart. Gives them time to refine one UI 7, which still has bugs, polish their foldables, and most importantly, Perfect the S26 lineup. You don't win the race by jumping the gun. You win it by showing up with something no one else saw coming. And let's talk iPhone 17 for a second. Will it be revolutionary? Probably not. Rumors of an iPhone 17 Air sound cool, but unless it folds itself and makes coffee, Samsung shouldn't panic. The S25 Edge already scored points with its slim profile and early launch. That gives Samsung breathing room to make the S26 truly next level. The truth is both Apple and Samsung are feeling the heat. Flagship sales are flat, innovation is harder, and everyone's eyes are on who cracks the next big thing first. But if Samsung can pull off this chip comeback and deliver a Galaxy S20 sticks built around a 2 and Snapdragon powerhouse to their own making, it changes the game. Not just for phones, for the entire chip industry. So next time you hear a whisper about Samsung delaying or tweaking the S26 launch, don't roll your eyes. It might just be the smartest move they've made in years. What do you think? Would you trust a Samsung-made Snapdragon chip in your next flagship? Drop your thoughts below and stay tuned. Things are about to get very, very interesting.